me. The other transaction is at 8.37, a transaction of 150,000. And the last transaction of 49,000 at 8.43 p.m. on 28th of May. 40 minutes later, that money leaves the mobile phone of the deputy governor and goes to the mobile phone of one Lucy, the, the, the director of Guasco. Remember, honorable members, that Lucy received this money at 9.24 p.m. on the 28th of May, 2023. When Lucy received this money, she did not understand where the money was being sent to her. But the following morning, she made a call to the deputy governor, just a follow-up to confirm, why are you sending money to me? And in that conversation, and it's a conversation that the, the deputy governor has admitted that they indeed spoke, that indeed, while he was taking breakfast at his home, Lucy reached out to him. And according to Lucy, she states that the deputy governor said this is as a follow-up to the requests I, I made to you for the assistance in the recruitment of my candidate, my preferred candidate. Now, honorable members, due to the integrity of one lady called Lucy, she asked the deputy governor to reverse the money. But obviously, the deputy governor does not reverse the money. What does he say? It's an error. And what does he also say? That the money was supposed to be sent to one Gladys, who is also a chief officer within the government of Kisi County government. And what we also see later, we also see that there was an intention, or there is a statement by one Gladys who says in her, in her statement that there was the, the, the deputy governor's wife actually approached her for favors in regard to being given the tenders in, for supplying pharmaceutical products. And in her statement, she says that she was approached around the month of May 2023. And the same May 2023 is when the deputy governor gives or sends money of 100,000 shillings to also Gladys. So the question is, was the deputy governor sending money simultaneously, intentionally, for two intended purposes to bribe? Was, she intending to, was he intending to bribe not only Lucy, but also intending to bribe Gladys? As I sum up, honorable members, the defense by the deputy governor should not be taken seriously. It is concocted. It has been uh, summed up so as to rule this house not to vote for the motion. Members, I sum up by telling you that, or requesting you to allow the motion on the basis of the grounds on the motion and the evidence produced by the county assembly. I do invite my brother, Planet Senior Mr. Ndegwanjiro.